little bit late, late in posting this video, but I'm posting it nonetheless. Um, so today I'm changing it up a little bit. I know I've done a couple of reviews on some amps that I have, but today I thought I'd take a little bit of a different approach just because, um, let's face it, we're all guitar players. Not all of us, you know, have the money to spend, uh, to buy a bunch of really cool shit. And, um, I include myself in that. I mean, money didn't grow on trees, and even though it kind of is trees, but anyway. Um, so today what I'm going to show you is that how to get a good tone uh, for relatively cheap. Um, so everything you're going to see to here, see here today, um, costs under a thousand bucks collectively. So you don't necessarily have to spend thousands of dollars uh, to get a nice sound. Um, so I'm just going to kind of take you through each little piece individually from my pedal board to the little amp that I'm using to the guitar and just kind of give you the ins and outs of what I'm playing, what I have in it, where I got it, how much it costs, everything like that. Um, just to show that you don't need uh, thousands of dollars to have a, a really good sound. So I'll start off with um, the guitar that I'm playing here. So this right here you can see is a Squire Telecaster. This is an Affinity series, I believe. Yeah. Um, so this is this actually cost me a hundred bucks. Um, I don't know what kind of pickups are in here, but they sound really good. I got it at a pawn shop um, here in Austin, um, and just happened to go in one day. I was looking around, wasn't really planning on spending any money, and um, this guy was there. Played it, sounded great. I was like, you know what? I'll take it. So, hundred bucks, boom. Got a great guitar. It's a workhorse really good sounding um, really versatile these pickups are kind of cool because they are rail style pickups I don't know if you can tell but if you look at them there they are rail style pickups but they really spank you know just like the you know what I mean that's that are good guitars they are good solid guitars that are made they're quality instruments you know are they made to the same specs as Fender American yes believe it or not they actually use pretty much the exact same circuitry exact same wiring same pots everything the only difference is usually the wood isn't quite as high caliber or isn't great tone woods as you would call it um, and a lot of the electronics are a little looser, they're not, you know, they don't make sure that they're nice and tight, everything like that. So these guitars have a tendency to not feel as expensive right off the shelf. And rightfully so, they're about, you know, what, a quarter of the price, if not less. Um, but you can see a lot of guys playing Squires that are getting some great sounds. And the reason why is their, their core, it's still a Fender guitar, it's still a Telecaster. So, this guy here, despite the fact that it has these upgraded pickups, 100 bucks. You know, these pickups are probably worth a lot more. I don't know what they are, but hey. And you can see that you can get a really good sound out of, you know. Ah, I messed up. Thank you got 
sound sounds just like a telly. $100. So next, I'm going to show you the app that I'm using. Um, cool. Okay, so we've all seen these little guys in Guitar Center or whatever music shop you have. Um, standard Marshall MG10. Um, the MG series, it's solid state. There's nothing, no frills, nothing special. This is uh, actually the first amp I ever bought. Um, I got for $75 at a place called Candyman Music, uh, Music and Strings, excuse me, in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And I got it when I was 15 years old. I remember I went in there, I got a gift certificate for my birthday, and I was so excited that I was going to finally be getting my own Marshall. Ha! Huh. Um, so, I haven't done any mods to it at all. It is a little bit broken in, but it, everything's original. The only thing I've done is I took off the back plate. There's usually a back plate back here. Uh, I took it off because it makes it sound a little bit bigger. But you can see there's a standard 8-inch speaker, standard cone. Nothing's been messed with on this guy. Um, so, right now for this and this together, $175. So for under $200, you could really record an album. You could really even play a gig because this gets loud enough to where you can mic it. So, and it's got a nice sound, you know, just... sound just so just these two together would be all you would really need but we all like to use pedals we all like a little bit of boost we all like that a little color so next I'm gonna show you my pedal board and show you which pedals you really need Alright, so the last part of this video is focusing on pedals. So, this is my pedal board right here. Um, I'm not going to bore you with everything that I have on the board, but here are the essentials that you need. So, first thing I recommend getting, wah pedal. I happen to have a Vox wah pedal. Cost me $65 second hand. Um, so there you go. And uh, we all know what a wah pedal's for, but I like playing with it, so... <laughs> You know, we all know that sound. You crank the distortion, boom, you got a Zach Wild tone. So that's pedal number one. Um, the next thing I recommend a nice tuning pedal. I like the chord tuner uh, just because it has nice big numbers. If you see right there, or big letters, excuse me, a little bit out of tune, but I can see exactly where I'm at in tune. So, turn that guy off. The next thing I recommend is a good distortion pedal. So, you can see right here, the one that I've got is an MXR Classic Distortion. Uh, this guy I got for $30. I've never had uh, another distortion pedal, but hey Gatsby. I've never had another distortion pedal that sounds the way this one does. Um, what I like about it, it gives me that nice, overdriven... the volume a little bit you can get a nice you know and then it gives you good enough growl to perfect perfect over, uh, distortion pedal for me 
and I highly recommend it. It's super cheap, does the job, sounds great. Okay, so the next one that I recommend, and this is the last one I recommend, that is essential on any pedal board is a delay pedal. So, that's this guy. I happen to use the Carbon Copy, which I like to use for long droning sounds, you know, where I get the... I call that the rush sound, where you can get the... So, those are the pedals that I recommend. The costs on all of them. Wah pedal, it was $65. Uh, the tuning pedal was the most expensive one that I bought. It was $90. I bought that one brand new. Like I said, the distortion pedal, 30 bucks. Uh, the carbon copy, I got that guy for I think $75 um, online. I got it on Craigslist, but you can get those new for about 120 bucks. So all together, $100, 75 for the amp. You got about three or 400 dollars in pedals right there. So for five or 600 bucks, you've got a killer setup. So comment below, subscribe below, share this video. Show me mad love, props, sick yo, whatever the kids say nowadays. And thanks for watching. I'll see you all next week. Take care.